During the mid-70s, I thought that Happy Days was one of the best programs on TV here in the United States. Everything about it was great. Especially that one time when Fonzie jumped over the shark. Oh wait, that wasn't all that great after all. But even though Lori Beth Allen, as played by the lovely Linda Goodfriend, showed up in the same season as the Fonz's notorious water skiing incident, I think it's still fair to say that her arrival was a very good thing. So whatever happened to Linda? In this video I'll answer that question as well as talk briefly about her career. But before we get any further, let me introduce myself. My name is Dave Sundstrom and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. Alright, with that said, let's get rolling. You know, Linda really accomplished a pretty darn difficult task. By the time the fifth season of Happy Days rolled around, Gary Marshall and the rest of the team responsible for producing the show, well, they knew that Richie needed a steady girlfriend. Someone that he could potentially marry later on during the show's run. They also knew that because Richie was so beloved by TV audiences that whoever they found had to be just the perfect match. The actress would not only have to have on-screen chemistry with Ron Howard, but she would also need to win over the millions of Happy Days fans that were out there. And you know what? Linda did it. She pulled it off. She was absolutely perfect. Of course, I remember Linda as Sunshine from the failed Happy Days spin-off Blansky's Beauties. I know a lot of folks like Karen Kay from that show, but I've always thought that Linda was the best thing that this failed Nancy Walker-led sitcom had going for it. Anyway, getting back to Happy Days, Richie and Lori Beth do end up getting married over the phone of all things during season 8 if I remember correctly, and for the next couple of seasons, Linda was a regular cast member on the show. After not making any appearances during season 10, at least any that I can remember, Linda did return during the show's 11th and final season. During the early 80s, along with Happy Days, Linda found work on shows like The Love Boat and Fantasy Island, but after Happy Days left the air, well, I've got to admit that I pretty much lost track of her. Every once in a while, Linda would show up in a movie. At least that's what Linda's filmography says, because if I'm being truthful, I don't remember her in any of these films, which were all, by the way, directed by Gary Marshall. I'm sure I'd recognize her if I watched any of these movies again, but the only one at this point that I'm tempted to go back and rewatch is Nothing in Common. Just to see Hanks and Gleason together again. What a great pairing that was. Alright, getting back to Linda. Really, beyond the movies I just mentioned, there's not much in her filmography. So what happened? Where did she go? As I started doing my research, I stumbled across an article from 1986 that gave me a clue. In that article, Linda talked about how she had developed a love for coaching others. Quoting Linda here, she said, Teaching is a very powerful thing. I feel that I'm using everything I've learned in 20 years in performing and in classes being able to direct and teach and mold and change people and help them get to another level and learn how to express themselves and to see this wonderful, exciting person emerge is very satisfying." End quote. In that same article, she also talked about raising her daughter after being separated from her husband. I've got to say it's a fascinating article and it's out there on the web if you want to read it. Just Google Linda's name and Los Angeles Times. 35 years later, Linda continues to be a coach as the acting chair at the New York Film Academy. Going back to that Los Angeles Times article, in it, Linda alluded to the fact that she wanted a career that would push her beyond roles that had her saying lines like, Hi Richie, or That's Cool Fonzie, and you know what? Mission accomplished. One more thing. Did you know that Linda was responsible for Robin Williams landing a certain breakout TV role? According to her, she and Williams were in an improv class together and when Happy Days was having trouble casting a weird alien character named Mork, Linda told the producers about Williams and his wild and hysterical performances during their improv class and because of her recommendation, they brought Robin in for an audition and the rest is television history. Alright, that's probably enough for today. In a nutshell, Linda isn't doing much acting on TV or in movies anymore, but truth be told, 
this lady is living her dream. And I gotta say, it doesn't get much better than that. Okay, now it's your turn. Did you like Linda's character on Happy Days? Share your memories in the comments section while you're at it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And what the heck, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.